Hey, what up everybody? Welcome to another video by the Asian Robot. Today, I'm actually going to go through a hammer build. Now, I was shown a lot of love on stream today, so I decided to get this done faster than expected. Um, how to build this? Okay, so what you will have seen me doing on stream is using Tempest with the hammer. Um, to do this, I actually did something which I thought was really, really wild. Okay, feel me on this. Unsteady ground, Agoras Hammer, with an Endurance Cell and a Predator Cell, right? Your special is going to be Mighty Landbreaker. Turbine Trigger as your mod so that you can complete your combos faster, all right? And your bond is going to be the Karabax Jaw. Bear with me. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it actually does phenomenal damage. You've got Tempest as your Omni Cell right here. You've got Scarn's Defiance with an Etheric Attunement Cell here, okay? You've got your Drass Scale Helmet with a Berserker Cell. You've got Scrave Wing Jacket with an Adrenaline Cell. You have the Fiery Gauntlets with a Predator Cell. And you've got Feet of Ice with a Parasitic Cell. Okay, what does this give you overall? Let's, let's talk about the perks. Adrenaline to give you 30, uh, 3% damage for every 10 stamina missing. With this build and 6 Endurance, you've got 210 stamina. That's 63% damage bonus. The Theric Attunement cools down your Lantern faster, keeps you alive. Predator, if you do take a hit, you lose 35% bonus damage, but you have 35% extra damage, which is really, really good. Berserker, another 20% as long as you keep on swinging. Deconstruction, uh, it comes with the build, you can't really change it out. Overpower, whenever you stagger, you get another 20% damage, and Parasitic will delay damage and allow you to lifesteal back if you get in trouble. Alright, so... Overall, this build has only one defensive cell, but it works fantastically in actual combat. All right. Uh, some of you have seen me demonstrate it on stream, but I'm going to demonstrate it here as well for those that are interested in the combat showcase. All right. For those of you that are not interested in the combat showcase, you can just like, share, and subscribe right here. Be sure to share out the video. All right. Let's go to Fortune's Folly and I'll show you this build in action. So, unlike the other Tempest builds, uh, the first thing you might notice is that in this build, we do not use Invigorated. Why? Because raw damage is much more important for the hammer in order to secure the uh, constant knockdowns. And you basically, every hit on the hammer needs to count. So you're not really boosting your Tempest to dish out damage. The hammer is a slower weapon, right? The Tempest is actually compensate for the speed, the slower speed of the hammer. And similarly, because the comboing is so important, we don't focus on uh, Molten unlike in other similar Tempest builds. Instead, we use the Turbine Trigger mod to get the best attack speed possible while stacking lots of raw damage, all right? And the Karabax UE is also amazing for doing this. You might think, well, doesn't the Karabax UE do better with uh, uh, more hits? That was the thing. During patch, I think 1.9 1 something, it was actually changed to uh, alter the methodology a little bit so that the hammer would only need lesser hits as compared to the chain blade to trigger the uh, UE, which was really, really good and very, very helpful. So um, this basically enabled the hammer to fight on par with other weapons. Terror weapons were considered weak and problematic for the longest time, but honest to God, uh, they actually do fairly well if you know what you're doing with them. Yeah, for that tree, huh? So, okay, we've got no elemental advantage, and this creature is five levels above us, but this is a suitable this is a suitable fight to showcase what'll happen if you were to fight a creature about three levels above you. It would feel very much like this. Alright? Now, the combat methodology is genuinely buff yourself with Mighty Landbreaker. Alright, if you do take a hit, that's okay. Alright, you can you can gain damage from Berserker as well as Adrenaline. So there's no need to really panic about losing Predator if you do lose it. Of course, maintaining it is better. But as you can see, even if I do lose it after frequent hits, I can battle back really easily. Alright, and if you do die in combat, you can literally revive yourself with Agoras. Let's go fight the uh, Spore Struck Charog. Okay. Um, again, we're at an elemental disadvantage. But because nothing spawned that is level 12 or level 11, I can't show you what the fight would be like against a level 4 or level 5 behemoth. Uh, a behemoth that's 4 or 5 levels above you. So take this fight. I know this behemoth is actually 5 levels above us, but... Like I said, um, we have to compensate for my Slayer's Path bonuses, stuff like that. So usually when I get in combat, the Karabakh UE is on. I will try and maintain all this for as long as I possibly can. 
if i get an early knockdown that's beautiful and um that'll just help me you know i just try and stay swinging because as long as i've got ammo i can swing faster and faster thanks to turbine trigger now once things get stompy now in that one single bashing combo uh this creature's already lost half its hit points now we're going to you know get close to the point where we can finish it off doing our usual shenanigans now of course you want to dodge hits where you can dodge but i'm just not that good with the hammer so i'm showing you like really really bad play but even with bad play that's how well this build functions again the the awesome thing about this is just the fact that it does work really really well and you can devastate things even with an elemental disadvantage and due to parasitic healing yourself up it's just so easy like you've got shields you've got everything you need and if you do dodge an attack you've got tempest all right beefed up by all your bonuses so yeah just make sure you maintain your combat bonuses uh did something spawn yes finally a level 12 creature spawn okay now we can really show you how to play all right so uh let me get a little more into the action so i can show this properly so now this will be what a fight is like against a creature about um four levels higher because we just went up to level six so this creature is only six levels above us all right start the battle with mighty land breaker now you should remember this technique from my hammer video but that's okay whether you do or do not all right use your tempest freely okay but also don't forget to prime your attacks why priming attacks deals more damage and helps you use up your stamina which is really important to this build because using up your stamina is how you get you know is how you get more damage so not only do you have elemental disadvantage here but this creature is about uh four or five levels above you you want to just be very careful with that and just continuously dodge to receive more tempest and that's that's basically it as soon as your buff is out all right i try and buff myself with the a the charged ammo for the uh full did i just say ammo ammo for the full uh bonus but that's that's what you want oh damn it it's had to move when i moved there you go once it's knocked down on the ground it's helpless pretty much and again all you gotta do is swing like i said if you maintain the low stamina which is very easy because priming shots will do that you can just tear the creature apart this video only took seven minutes to shoot that's how fast it is so yeah just going through it again um honest to god the biggest and best part about this is mighty land breaker 30 up to 35 percent bonus damage is huge all right you've got predator with 35 adrenaline with up to 63 and berserker with another 20 that's a hell of a lot of extra damage all right and overpower triggers with another 20 percent there you boost that with your 10 percent attack speed and every time you prime you're getting more and more attack speed it's crazy this is how this build just shreds behemoths on top of that every time you dodge an attack you get an extra burst which you which is coupled with all these bonuses from your tempest all right so although you don't have invigorated you have a lot of raw damage in here that will just help you shatter behemoths your shields and parasitic are more than enough to protect you in most circumstances and that's how you run this build that's how this build works that's what's so amazing about it okay so just remember the combat skills are to jump use your buff and then just go on from there all right thank you very much for watching this video if you like my content don't forget to like share and subscribe it's really important that you do that if you want to support the channel further you want to keep us running drop a tip via the link in the description of the video you can send super thanks on youtube you can join as a channel member you can um drop by the streams and send super chats get some asian robot merchandise all of it is open to you all right so thank you very much here's the throne of honor these are our top tier members death donnie 982 at plus ultra is our vvip the Forgotten, Nate the Great, Rogue Assassin, Drago, Joshua Moritz, Ole Mr. Cream Puff, Jerry Fast, Logan Schwartz, Titorius Venom, Zack and FG, all prestige, wonderful people right there. June's top supporters, Bravo7910, Kaz Mantima Lovely Girl, Zavi Zumaki, The Mighty Zeno, Death Dawning 982, Ole Mr. Cream Puff, Darius Laszlo, Rogue Assassin, Michael Riley, River Heath, Nate the Great, fantastic people. And this list will be updated this weekend, so look forward to seeing more names on there. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all in the next one, okay? Y'all have a good weekend.